right, so let's talk about sensory modulation. So we touched on that a little bit. Um, jump in, Keith. But when I think sensory modulation, that refers to um, our responses to sensory input. So are we taking in that sensory information and kind of calibrating using that dial um, to respond in a manner that is in proportion to what has just happened? So if I'm having a modulation, if there are, you know, um, disordered sensory modulation, um, you could think of that in um, a child sitting on a, oh. <laughs> Yeah. I, so if I couldn't modulate, I probably would either not be able to get my hands onto her head or I would have just did it so hard I hurt her. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can't really do a real practical joke if you can't modulate your force or your mm -hmm. perception. Mm -hmm. and we have we have a kid who like, kept like whacking people in the head and we were all like, dude, stop it. And he was an older kid. And finally I figured out he was trying to prank us. And I was like, all right, I get it. You're trying to prank me. And he kept trying to do it because he kept, he couldn't understand why no one found this to be funny. I was like, right. You, you, you don't really want to actually hit the person really hard. You want it to either, you know, but he, he couldn't modulate his force or even like he had really, he, he didn't have really good aim when he was throwing, except when he was yeah. doing a practical joke. Um, it, it was just like the oddest thing, but so he couldn't modulate his motor plan around, you know, not hitting. You know, um, and, or it's also about how you're getting ready to receive the information too. Like, so if I'm, you know, looking at Alicia, does she like very gently move her, her neck back a tiny bit mm -hmm. to get her sense organs away from the thing that's coming up? Um, does the little muscle in your ear fire so that it's going to, block out or dampen some of the sounds because that's the ability to modulate what's coming in. And then how are you able to modulate the output? You know, the, the, we, like you, you, people, there are tons of kids and adults who haven't ever figured out how to modulate their voices. And then for us people that are sound sensitive, it's like, oh gosh. Um, I, yeah. I, I be aware that they're speaking loudly and it's not until they're brought to their attention they just think they're talking in a normal volume i know people that i bring it to their attention and they just think it's me because they they don't even perceive it that way mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's it's amazing yeah um yeah it, it, it's that I, I, I once said to a parent who was letting their kids scream all the time, it was a neighbor. And I, I like, I really like kids, but I can't, you know, have your kids screaming from six in the morning until eight o'clock at night. I just need to be able to let my brain relax a little bit. And she said, I said, well, you know, teaching somebody how to modulate their voice is actually a gift you're giving them. Not, not, you know, not a negative. I'm not telling your child to not talk. I'm asking her just to be able to talk in uh, like that wider range of voices um, rather than thinking it was all on or off and on was full on and then off was when she was sleeping. Yeah, because I, but, but yeah, because then you get into like sleep, right? Like, can you modulate things so that you can downward regulate and, mm -hmm. and fall asleep? Mm-hmm.